Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Y'all, I just want to show y'all, this is a pile of logs right here. I've been cutting these 8 by 8 um, beams from. And uh, so I've still got, you know, several more to go through. And uh, right here, this is the uh, pile of slabs right here that uh, I've got. And I'm going to be cutting some more from these slabs right here. I can cut some one bys out of these slabs and some of them just be cut up, uh, just burn. But uh, I'll try to get most, you know, wood I can get out of it. But right now I'm just piling them up right here. And uh, walk over here and show you what I've got cut out so far. Kind of working in between different things. So uh, just not currently uh, cutting them, but this is what I got out of the uh, log so far cut me some uh four befores i got one two three yeah got three four befores there here's a crooked uh log and uh i thought it'd be better just get four befores out of it instead of a uh, eight bait but that's a, a good start right there and uh they're doing good. Um, not have no kind of molding issue, and um, I'm gonna be doing these logs. I mean, these beams here. I'm going to uh, use these to build my blacksmith shop, and uh, I look forward to doing that. And uh, but I want to try to get these done before winter. These logs, uh, they've been sitting out here since summer, well, early spring actually, and. Uh, They've held up real good and everything. Haven't had much rain this uh, summer, so it's been a benefit. So it's given them you no know, time to uh, kind of sit there without you know much problem with moisture. They're still wet. They're easy to uh, cut up. So I'm fortunate that well, I was a little worried about it. They might be a little bit dry, but they still good. They don't have no kind of bluing uh, through them at all. So uh, these are gonna be some nice looking uh, eight bait posts. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to build it, but uh, I did want some beefy uh, posts when I build it, and uh, I'll bring y'all along when I start that. And I just want to show you my progress here. I'm cutting these uh, beams out right here with these uh, my Alaskan chainsaw mill there. So if anybody uh, wanting to cut their own uh, lumber or beams or anything like that, I, I'd recommend y'all get y'all a uh, Alaskan chainsaw mill. I do know. They make a uh, different, uh, like a Chinese brand. So that I'm sure they work just as good, but uh, I'm not sure how long they'll hold up. But I've had mine probably, uh, I don't know, for at least 15 to 18 years now, and never had no trouble out of it. It's, it's made out of real good uh, aluminum. Uh, might be uh, aircraft, but you have to look it up on their website. But it's, it's, it's made really good, and uh, that's what you can do with y'all. Y'all can cut you out your own lumber and. Um, don't have to pay the high prices going to the lumber store as long as you got some trees, you know. And I was uh, fortunate enough, my neighbor uh, down the road, he uh, he called me and said, Hey, just I got some extra trees down here. You know, we had tornadoes come through and uh, it blew trees over. And he said, uh, You know, got some extra logs down here. He he saw milled up some lumber. And um, I said, Yeah, I'll I, I come down and get them. And uh, I appreciate my neighbor letting me. Uh, give me in them uh, trees or logs and stuff help me load them up and everything so that's a blessing right there to have good neighbors like that to you know offer you something like that but that ain't every day you know i can go get a whole load of logs like that you know and turn them into lumber but anyway y'all i just want to bring y'all along show you progress there what what i've got there done so far on them and i appreciate y'all coming along and as always friends with my family years Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.